sister Rina, sister Sarla, sisters, teachers and my dear friends. Enrique, what is special about today's program? Why have we assembled here? Don't you know that today is the foundation day of the Carmelite sisters of charity of Madruna? What do you mean by a foundation day? Well, it means that on this day, February 26, 1826, the congregation of the sisters of our school was established in Spain 196 years ago by their founders Mother Zogina. Oh, that is wonderful. So, let us honor our mother founders by placing them with symbolize the life, joy, hope and cheer that the sisters have spread in the lives of countless people that they have served all across the globe. Here are the students of standard 6, 7 and 8 with lamps to honor St. Jokina Devetruna. Joaquina de Vetruna was born in the city of Barcelona, Spain, in 1783 in a wealthy family. At that time, the country was in a state of crisis and chance. Poverty was on the rise. People were illiterate. Women were excluded from education. Joaquina was born in a family of eight children. Her parents were Lorenzo and Teresa. Together they formed the Vedruna Vidal family. Joaquina's mother was preoccupied with her children's education. I want all of you to study well, work hard and be intellectually good. During Jokina's growing up years, she was a responsible and obedient child. I enjoy making the most of my time and like to do whatever the Lord wants. Such was her obedience. At the age of 12, Jokina was ready to reveal her secret. I wish to join the cloistered Carmelite convent. I hope they accept me. My child, you are too young to join us. We cannot accept you. Jokina accepted this decision and went on with her life. At the age of 16, Jokina's father told her that a family friend, Theodoro, liked her. Theodoro is a good man. He likes your simplicity and wishes to marry you. When she went to sleep, she told the Lord, I accept your will, your plan for me, O God. Jokina was married to Theodoro. She then understood her mother's opt 
repeated words for those who love god everything that happens is for their good she accepted her marriage and her husband in the year 1800 jokina became a mother this is the happiest experience of her life and she lived with him happily for 16 years of marriage from which nine children were born several years later in 1808 her worries increased the political situation worsened in 1808 France declared war and attacked Jokina's husband went to war Jokina and her children needed him but Spain also needed him I must serve my country and protect it the war ended in 1813 Theodoro returned home and everything returned to normal in 1815, Theodoro became sick and on March 4th, he passed away. Jokina was grieved and lonely at his death. She now had the responsibility of looking after her children, but she prayed, God, I accept your will for my life. I place myself in your hands. As the years passed, she saw her children were well settled in life. In the year 1819, Jokina took a decision. I will dedicate my life in the silence of a monastery of contemplative life. But God had different plans for Jokina went to the Capuchin church to tell Father Esteban de Olot about her decision to join a monastery. Father Esteban helped her to understand what God commented to be her mission. You must commit your life for the service of the poor. Gather some young girls who are willing to be of service and begin a congregation. In the year 1825, Jokina arrived in Vic and met Bishop Pablo Jesus Corcuera. She spoke to him about her projects and plans. How she felt that education of girls was necessary. Then Bishop proposed that the new order be under the protection of Our Lady of Carmel as she was devoted to the Virgin of Carmel. So, on February 26, 1826, Jokina founded the Congregation of the Carmelite Sisters of Charity of Petruna to embrace the needs of the people in the field of education of girls, health care of the poor, sick and the needy in her own house of the Manso Escorial of Wick. That morning, Mother Jokina and nine girls went to the Capuchin church to take their vows to live a life of poverty, chastity and obedience. While returning home, they met a poor man begging. She gave him the last coin she had in her pocket. She wanted to live in poverty and depend on God's providence. Hail to Saint Joachina of the Church of Glory Honor of your country, hello, mother, hail. Joy of all your sisters, their mother and mother. Hail, a holy foundress, praise her, hello,
morning all of you. All of you enjoy watching this. What did you understand by today's this program? We celebrate Foundation Day. When it was founded? We hope today's performance has moved our hearts challenged and inspired us to do whatever we can to live out our school motto service above self so continuing in mother jokina's footsteps our students and teachers visited shri tapibai ranchhordas gandhi vikas grah trust and expressed our love and concern for the needy children there as part of the service provided by our fatima care mission